We hooked homegirl up. A marine biology student reached out because she needed an aquarium so that she can continue her studies, learning, and, and becoming the next Neil deGrasse Tyson of the aquatic hobby. I just happened to do an aquarium giveaway for people in need, who people can't afford them, people who can use them. And with the help of my channel members, my channel sponsors, and all the beautiful people at my live streams that I do every Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we was able to hook her up properly with this banging setup for saltwater. It's a simple setup. Um, it's something that anybody could get their hands on, but check this out. All right, so look, first of all, let me tell you, it's like 91 out here in Florida, so it's crazy hot. Um, I'm waiting for her to come. She does not want to be filmed, and that's okay. This ain't about, I mean, the only reason why I would want anybody to be on film is to help promote this, you know? But it's not a requirement. The important thing is, is that somebody who needs it gets it. So she doesn't want to be filmed. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all the stuff that, that we got for her. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank a couple people before we even get started. Consolidated Fish Farms, Dixie Station Tattoo, Legendary um, Florida Man. Most of all, most of all, more than anybody else. I want to thank all my um, channel members because um, without you, this would not be possible. Um, and I would like to thank the... the the awesome people in my live chats who donated but a special special thank you to all my channel members your membership fees is where this stuff goes to and i still got other tanks waiting to find homes that i can't find homes for ain't that something can't find homes for a free tank but let me show you what i got let me show you what i got all right so she really really was adamant about a 20 long i offered a 20 high but she was really i even offered a 40 but she was really adamant about a 20 long because of whatever criteria she's trying to meet She's a, bio, uh, a, a, um, a marine biologist, uh, a student, so I'm sure there was a good reason. So whatever, it is what it is, um, as long as she gets aquarium. I got me a glass top for her, a Perfecto glass top, the, you know, so that she can you know, keep in all that humidity because with salt water, um, there's a lot of humidity because they like the warm water and you get a lot of salt creep. Um, hydrometer, this, is, this measures the amount of salt in the water. Now, she is going to be sourcing her water and everything from the wild um so she's not necessarily gonna need that but you never know what if something happens in the middle of the night and you have to do a quick water change so yeah and this was these were um given from um the beautiful people in my live stream that was donated this also was donated to the from the people in my live stream um salt water test kit her being a um marine biologist I would imagine she needs to know the specific um, makeup of the composition of the water that she's sourcing these fish from to compare to whatever she's doing. I don't know, but we got that. We got her a 200 watt heater. Um, we got some um, chlorine remover in case she needs to make water in a pinch. We have an AquaClear 50, which a lot of people might be saying, oh my God, that's a lot of filtration for a 20. But Saltwater tanks do need a higher turnover rate than freshwater tanks. They definitely, definitely need a lot of water movement. That's gonna do the trick. In fact, we even got her, look at here, look at here, a magnetic wave maker. It's really cool. This um, is on the outside, boop, and then this hangs in the inside and it, it, cre it, creates, um, it creates current so that um, that water keeps moving on a regular basis. You gotta think, salt water is never still. It's always moving in some way, shape, or form. It's not like a lake or a pond with fresh water where there's calm, no, no, it's, it's always moving. So um, I personally think this will do the trick by itself, but if not, she's got that. Plus, I'm always big on setting yourself up for the next level. So with these, this equipment right here, um, she can actually go to a bigger aquarium and not have to buy any more equipment. Let's look at, uh, okay. <clears throat> I got her some Purigen for that uh, um, Aqua Clear. It's good stuff. I like it because I don't like to have to keep buying stuff. And you could actually, um, that will go into the canister filter, I mean the, um, the Aqua Clear, and you could actually recharge that. There's videos on YouTube on how to do it. I've never seen it, but I know people who've used that and they swear by it. So I didn't want to have to have her buy stuff extra later on down the road. Now, salt water, protein skimmer. If you don't know what a protein skimmer is, what a protein skimmer does is it, 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 it allows you to turn ammonia in your water column into a solid. Um, and that's what it looks like. And let me give you a quick 
quick breakdown on how a protein skimmer works. And this is an air-driven protein skimmer, so we did get her a big old pump, uh, air pump. It's actually bigger than she probably needs, but with these protein skimmers, um, they're driven by air. So I'd rather have way more air than she needs and, um, and have to turn it down than not have enough air. So it's real simple. The water enters the system through the bottom. It has hold. Let me open this up so you can see it in real, real, are in real life. IRL. Okay, so the water enters through the bottom. You see there? That's where your hole, your air hose goes in. Now your air hose goes through this wooden block. This wooden block puts out extremely, extremely fine, fine, um, uh, how you call it? Air bubbles. Yeah, that's what you call it. Air bubbles. And the air bubbles push through the water. Now, with the fine air bubbles pushing through the water in this tubey thing right here, what happens is, is it turns the ammonia into a solid. Oh, what's that noise? It turns it into a solid in the form of um, foam. Now the foam gets pushed because of the, the, the water into this cup. Then hold up. You, take, you take the cup off. I'm one handed here, people. All right, you take the cup off, you take it to the sink, splashy, rinse it out, and there, you just remove the ammonia by hand. So that is a big thing. Saltwater fish are, I would say, are more sensitive uh, than freshwater by far. So I felt that was necessary. She didn't ask for it, but if I'm gonna hook somebody up, I'm gonna hook them up proper, right? Um, so now this is not, like I said, this is, this, they, they, they usually have, nowadays, they have more um, high tech ones. This is bare bones design, but it works and it's always gonna work um, as long as your air pump works. So that's one of the reasons why I went with this. Plus, you know, we have to think about money here, right? So that's what we got going on. That's everything she's getting to take to the Bahamas to study and become a marine biologist. I'm gonna put this, she's not here yet. So let me put this together real fast so we get a glimpse of what it might look like. All right, hold up. All right, look at her, look at her. All right, so that's everything she's getting. Air pump to drive the protein skimmer, big old monster filter, that'll do up to a 50 gallon. 200 watt heater, the uh, wave maker. I honestly think that'll do a, a good job of making current, but you know, bigger is always better. Um, her testing equipment, in case she has issues where she needs to put together um, some water, some salt water at the last minute, um, and then some purigen to add to the filter. This stuff, honestly, except for that protein skimmer, which you could probably find at some pet stores, um, there is nothing here that is unusual, to be honest with you. I mean, I view, I buy salt, sea salt, to put in um, my aquariums for fresh water because, you know, I don't I use that. I don't use the aquarium salt, I use that, which is just fine. Um, but it's not too much extra. You know, if you have an aquarium, you have a heater, you have a filter, um, maybe you have a test kit, you just need to use a salt water test kit. Um, you have chlorine remover. The purigen can be used for fresh salt. So how about this? On your next aquarium that you buy, buy it with the intent on someday, possibly setting up a salt water tank. Then you wouldn't have to have as much stuff and it wouldn't be so bad on your pocket. So there it is, a simple salt water aquarium setup that any of you guys can get. Um, if you have the basic fundamentals, which is the nitrogen um, cycle and feeding um, uh, mentality, you know, don't overfeed and, and, a, and a, a decent um, maintenance schedule, there's no difference, in my opinion, um, to keeping fresh or salt water. So this, this, this might be um, something you might want to think about getting something simple like this. I really, really want to wish the young lady who is actually um, moving to the Bahamas to study marine biology, good luck. So much good luck. And it, I, I was thinking about it. it it's, a, it's kind of a trip for me to know that something I'm doing here in Florida is going to impact somebody for the rest of their life in the Bahamas. And that's that's what uh, that's what Aquafunk is all about is making an impact in someone's life. So, if you're interested in in this, uh, if, if you enjoy this type of content, please um, subscribe. And if you ever wanted to um, participate um, or be part of what I'm doing, all you got to do is join. Um, it's it's five dollars a month, and that money goes to um, help sustain this channel to continue education in, in the aquarium hobby and, and the sciences. And it helps with these giveaways. So here's some other videos I think you might be interested also.